Hi friends, so today um, I'm going to do what hopefully will be a really quick video because um, I got some new brushes. So normally um, I use Da Vinci brushes and Silver Black Velvet but I know Escoda is really popular and um, a lot of people say that it's like really high quality so I decided to give them a try. Um, it's springtime now, um, it's cherry blossom season, I've been doing a lot of um, urban sketching, plein air sketching, and I had no travel brushes so um, I thought a Skoda would be good for my first travel brush. So this one I already um, took the plastic off. This is a Skoda Versatile number 8. It looks really nice quality, right? So I'm going to go ahead and unbox these and then just kind of do a little play around, a little test to see how they work. Um, this one is a set of three. This one, so this one is the Versatile, and these three are Perla. Um, and this is size two, six, and ten. And it, as you can see in the picture, it comes with a, like a little case. So nice packaging. First impression. It looks kind of like a, I don't know, it's reminding me of something like a, like a camera case or something. It has the Skoda logo on there. So I'm guessing you just pull on this part. And here are our three, oh, three brushes, which, let me put them, when it's closed, it, to me, it looks exactly like the Versatile, so I don't know how I'm supposed to tell the difference between these, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe if I just leave this barcode thing on, but this is like really tacky. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lay these all out. Let's do a little landscape. That's what I usually like to do when I want to test a product pressure you know hmm. for some reason I thought that the brush was gonna be larger even though it's just size 10 it's super hard so it's got some kind of coating on it this really <laughs> looks the same like look at the difference here like it's exactly the same look the only way you can tell the difference is the words right here it says pearl here and it says versatile here but other than that like it's just this one's brown here and this one's white. That's the only difference I can see in the whole thing. So anyway, let me go ahead and wash whatever it is that's holding these bristles together. Uh, I'm just going to use my water bucket. my John Pike palette. I'm just gonna spray everything real quick and then we'll do like a really loose and quick landscape. Alright, I think I'm gonna start off with the cobalt blue. This is M. Graham's cobalt blue. And I'm gonna spray the paper too. This is uh, Fabriano cold press. Um, not the 100% cotton, the 25% cotton one. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have wet the paper so I can see <laughs> how well the paint spreads with just the brush. Honestly, I'm thinking I should have gotten something larger than this because I want something to hold a lot of water so that I can do really quick sketches um, in plein air and urban sketching. Um, I mean, other than that, there's nothing like earth shattering about this so far. Let me um, try to do some other things other than a wash. Just do 
So that's what it looks like when you try to do a straight fine line. Which is pretty good for a size 10. This one to the side and we'll look at the next one so this one is um actually let me do the size eight next so the first one that was the pearl out this is the versatile um and this is size eight this one feels pretty similar to the size 10 for obvious reasons um the size <laughs> it's only one size different um i don't know but for this one i can't really explain it just feels like a little better in my hand the way it glides who knows why who knows but this one if i try to do fine line So yeah, this one I think is a little bit better at fine lines, especially which makes sense given that it's smaller. All right, let's get even smaller and try the size six. This again is the pearl. to use this to introduce some trees in the distance here. I'm going to grab some, oh, and this green color, this is green appetite, genuine. Um, this blue color is cobalt blue. I mean, first impressions, I think they feel like they're good quality brushes, but it's hard to give a verdict on a brush like the first time you use it. I feel like you have to use it for a while and get comfortable with it, um, play around with it for a while before you can really say, you know, what you really think about it. Still the size six. I'm gonna grab some quinacridone gold. This is the hue from Holbein. If I haven't mentioned yet, this is my John Pike palette. Definitely not going to be taking all four of these sizes with me. Um, they're just too similar in size, the 10, the 8, the 6. I'll probably just narrow it down to maybe like two. Which I don't know which two I'll be using yet. try some fine lines with this size 6 before we move on to this size 2. I'm going to grab some transparent brown oxide from Daniel Smith. So 
just so everyone's clear, this is not like a full review of the brushes. But it, like I said, this is my first time opening them. This is just like a quick um, observations, first impressions, etc., etc. I'm not really getting as fine of a point as I hoped with these brushes based on what other people had said. Um, maybe it's something I'm doing, you know, incorrectly, but I'll have to play with it a little bit more and report back. I'm not going off a of reference or anything, I'm just kind of giving everything up as I go, which is rare for me. I rely pretty heavily on reference, but with landscapes, I've done so many landscapes. I do, I do a lot better doing landscapes from imagination than I do like people. Like, if I'm not really careful, then it just comes out like all thick like that. Like, I mean, it is a size six, so it's not like it's, it's a zero or anything, but the way you know people are going on about these, I thought it would be a lot easier to get a really thin line, easier than I'm that it's been for me so far. All right, so I'm gonna put the number six down and grab the number two. Number two, Perla. This one's also pretty hard from whatever they coated it with. Wet it and there it goes. So these are made from synthetic hair and they're pretty springy. I really like that. Um, I, I don't like floppy brushes. Go try to do some thin lines with this one again. Um, number twos, these these smaller sizes aren't made for large washes. Plus, I don't really have much large wash area left anyway. But um, you go with the thinner lines. It's a lot better. Not sure what I'm going to make my main brush for my um, fine air. It's either going to be the 10 or the 8. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm working mostly on uh, 7 by 10 inches paper. So I don't know. I think I might go with the 10, but we'll see. And then I'll definitely take this number 2 along for the finer details. again and go ahead and add some leaves to a little tree I'm gonna start with the quin gold this time instead of the cool blue here to see how small I can get the leaves with the larger brush and then I can also get a larger leaf if I press down like that. <laughs> I'm right-handed so it's really best practice to have your palette 
on whatever side your dominant hand is but my desk is just so small I can't do that both with the, a, a palette this size and my water brush so that's why I have it on my left here practice I'm not bad mouthing these brushes at all I I think I just need to learn how to use them it takes a steady hand you know considering like light source and everything but I'm totally not I'm just kind of just blobbing colors around wasn't a quick video as <laughs> is kind of the thing with me but hey I tried um so that was my first look at some Skoda brushes the three brush set for the Perla and then the single size eight all travel brushes um I hope this video was useful to you for you um if you want to see more videos like this um, go ahead and subscribe um, to get notified of my new videos. Um, also, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but the way that um, it, um, YouTube recommendations works is they look at you know your views, your subscriptions, your likes, and everything, and they uh, use that information to suggest similar videos to you. So, um, if you interact with videos you like, like hopefully this one, and you know like subscribe etc whatever then youtube you know gets better at showing you videos that you actually want to see so that being said um what i really do these videos for is like the comments i just really love talking about watercolors and nobody that i know personally you know <laughs> has the enthusiasm for them that i do so um i just really enjoy like participating in the community um uh you know starting a conversation um definitely want to start a chat in the comment section if you have any thoughts um so i'll see you there bye and i forgot to mention um 
So, like I said, I've been doing a lot of outdoor sketching. Um, springtime, it's warm. So, if you want to see all those sketches um, that I do, uh, photos of my art supplies, etc., um, just go ahead and go to Instagram.com slash Tyler Alexi. Um, and 